It was great to get out there first day, um, get back to doing what we all love to do, and uh, just enjoying everything and having fun, and, you know, getting the basics in today and, and, and trying to progress throughout the offseason or the preseason. What was this uh, this summer like for you and the receivers? You put a lot of extra time out here on the fields. Yeah, we did. Um, it was huge. Last year, you know, it was kind of our, our first year as a unit together. So uh, this summer was huge for us. You know, we went out there uh, pretty much every day of the week and we're throwing during routes, whether it's Skelly or just one on ones or routes on air. So uh, we got a lot better in the summer and, and looked to improve this season. From your first practice here to now, what, what, what's changed? I mean, what are you? What have you learned when you get to this point? A ton. I mean, just being able to experience everything coming in as an 18-year-old freshman, having older guys be able to, you know, teach me stuff and learn from them, and uh, just you know, spend time in the film room with the coaches, learning, you know, mentally and then physically getting out here and working. It's just, you know, it's been a, a, a tremendous amount of learning for me, and uh, still have way to way more to learn. So I look forward to that. If you were to go back and, and, and talk to yourself at 18, you know, and, and tell, tell yourself that you're going to be probably the best quarterback in the state of Florida, do you think you'd believe um, it at that time? No, I mean, I don't know. I, uh, I probably would just say, okay, whatever. But, uh, you know, I can't. I don't care who, you know, what other people say. You know, I'm going to play to the best of my ability and, and try and help this team win football games. Is there a, a particular focus for you this preseason area of your game that you're going to be working on? Yeah, I think, you know, always – Improving the little things, the footwork, you know, I missed this throw by half a foot, why did I miss it, you know, and just figuring that out. And then just mentally, um, you know, I, have a, I, I, got a, I got a good grasp of the playbook and uh, I think just, you know, making sure that the other guys can ask me questions when they don't want to is, is something, you know, I guess that falls into to kind of the leadership role working on that. Is that leadership kind of different now, stepping in as an upperclassman for the first time yeah, in definitely. the camp? Yeah, um, definitely. I think it definitely is, and uh, it's something that, you know, as a quarterback, you have, you have to learn to take on because it comes with the territory. So uh, I look forward to it, and I look forward to helping, you know, my teammates out and, and trying to motivate everybody and, and lead everybody. As a leader, did you try to talk J.J. out of bleaching his hair? <laughs> <laughs> um, I was actually asleep last night when he did it, but uh, – I don't know. He said he was going to do it. I didn't believe him, but he looks like Eminem, so <laughs> I guess that's his hero. And did you enjoy the experience earlier really this week in Rhode Island? Did you yeah. enjoy the, the clam bake on Monday? Yeah, that was awesome. Um, I thank Coach O'Leary for taking me up there you know, as an underclassman. It was a great experience, and uh, I really enjoyed it. First time ever eating a whole lobster, so I've never seen a lobster with the head on it, but it was good. Who, who ate more, you or the McCray brothers? Uh, me and Justin tied. Jordan didn't eat a lot because he ate too many shrimp before. <laughs> So he didn't eat that much. Good. Thanks, Blake.